Hello, good afternoon. Um, can you shortly present yourself? Yes, my name is Aurelien Taide. I'm working for the European Disability Forum. Uh, this is the representative organization of persons with disabilities in, in Europe and uh, we represent more than 80 million persons right now. Can you shortly explain uh, about the, the policy event that you have been organizing here the last two days here in Brussels? All right. So basically, uh, right now we are at the European Days of Persons with Disabilities. This is um, um, an event that happens every year and that we organize with the European Commission. So uh, it's important to understand that it would be the institutions, the European Commission, working with um, the representative organization of persons with disabilities. So uh, persons with disabilities coming from, uh, from the ground, coming from the field, that um, wants to uh, encourage the Commission to improve their situation in Europe. And this event is just about that, about uh, the, the Commission meeting persons with disabilities to talk about the issues and the priorities. I was listening to the opening uh, statement of your uh, President and Mr. Valdia Castanis. It was very, very hard on the fact that uh, the current ongoing crisis which is affecting Spain, Italy, Greece, Greece, where Mr. Valdir Aslan is coming from. Um, and he was very clear that something has to be done about it. Can you shortly uh, explain what EDF is doing in that respect? All right. So, uh, basically, persons with disabilities um, um, have uh, more issues to access to employment, uh, to access to education, and therefore to access to um, like a, um, a life with dignity. Um, and in time of crisis, it's even worse. And um, uh, our, our president and, and persons with disabilities in Europe, they don't want to be forgotten. They don't want to be the most forgotten of all the, the, the persons that are already forgotten. So basically, for us, it's, and for him, uh, and for all those persons with disabilities, it's very important that the EU understand that the austerity measures taken in every country, and especially uh, right now, Greece, Italy, uh, and even Ireland uh, or the UK. Um, it's important that all those countries uh, got the right message from Europe. And the right message is you need to reduce your debt, but if you do it, do it with us, do it with uh, the person that will be the, the first victim. And, uh, and the message we want the Union to give to the, to the national countries is, is a message of working all together. Thank you very much. Um, I understand this event has been organized the past few years as well. Are there any other plans apart from this kind of policy event once a year? Are you going to plan more events? Is that an idea? So um, there is several events uh, that include persons with disabilities um, into this uh, lobbying EU decision process. Uh, this one is unique because um, it, it, it's the opportunity to invite uh, real persons with disabilities from the field that can ask questions to the decision maker directly, uh, face to face, eyes in the eyes. Uh, there is several other events where the decision makers are less accessible, but where persons with disabilities are invited to, um, uh, to be and to be listened to be listened to, and to really have their voice. And there is several events all around the year. Thank you very much for this.